so we have here the processor okay so under the processor directly we have ceramic capacitors so let's check and any ceramic capacitor is check this one for example do you say we get in the multimeter a very low resistance let's check this one also as you can see this is a short no this is not a short i will prove to you so let's go directly and remove the processor please if you are serious about improving your repair skills subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one and to be part of our family where i have over 1000 friends you are very welcome all links in the description also you're gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video so please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this code. so let's remove the processor over here let me remove the processor as you can see now the processor is removed okay so let's check again the several capacitors so so this is the two serum capacitor that we have test so let's test it again so one probe here and the other probe here do you see in the multimeter we get 700 let's check this one also 700 okay if we put back the processor so if we put back the processor as you can see no the processor is installed so let's check again just to make sure just to make sure so one probe here the other probe here as you can see in the multimeter we get a short this is not a short so please guys remember always for chipsets okay always for chipsets like the cpu the graphic card or Northbridge and the ICH always the ceramic capacitors as you can see that you're gonna find in the back of the chipsets you will usually not usually but always you will find a very low resistance this low resistance is not a short circuit so please remember because many technicians find like this short and try to figure out where is the short circuit exactly but no short circuit. it's not the short circuit it's normal but for the ceramic capacitors that are not belong to cpu circuit or other chipset circuits you will find a normal reading as you can see here for example you see normal reading okay any ceramic capacitor here if i find for example here a low reading means we have a short circuit but here guys i will i want to add an exception here basically this is a shorter motherboard the short is in the cpu circuit okay the short is in the cpu circuit so the cpu now is installed if i check this ceramic capacitors as you can see do you see we have zero in the multimeter do you see this is a short let's check this one also do you see we have zero in the multimeter means this is a short okay so let's remove the cpu if we check even this big capacitor the 10 term capacitors we can find also a short circuit let's check it do you see we have zero in the multimeter means here we have a short circuit even if i remove the cpu so basically this is the cpu if i remove it so let's remove the cpu as you can see the cpu is removed so as you can see the cpu is removed okay so let's check the ceramic capacitors as you can see do you see we get zero in the multimeter 
okay this one also so if you check this one as you can see zero in the millimeter means we have a short circuit a clear short circuit in the cpu circuit so please remember let's summarize what we have seen before so ceramic capacitor okay okay so the symbol for the ceramic capacitor is this one okay it's not polarized capacitor this is basically the ceramic capacitor but for electrolytic okay capacitor its symbol is as you can see this we have here plus okay or you can find also this symbol this also means minus okay so to test the ceramic capacitors you can use the continuity option in the multimeter and you should find a reading that is higher or equal 60 we can see ohm in the millimeter. If you find a 60 ohm in the millimeter, means the ceramic capacitor, okay, is good. But in the CPU, as you can see, circuit and GMCH and also ICH, okay, circuit, you can find the value is greater or equal zero zero three okay and to the on okay so if you find zero zero three or zero zero four or even sometimes zero zero two it's okay it's not a short circuit if it's the cpu if it if you can remove it and check it's it will be better but if the chipset is integrated anyway a low value doesn't mean a short circuit unless you find zero 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 three zeros if you find three zeros means automatically you have a short circuit then we have seen that if you find for example a ceramic capacitor a bad ceramic capacitor this is for example you find this bad ceramic capacitor you should replace it with another ceramic capacitor with the same size okay and same color same size and same color because above the ceramic capacitors you cannot find the value unless you have the schematic if you have the schematic then you can find the value of ceramic capacitor this is an example as you can see over here this is a ceramic capacitor we have the schematic here we have 4.7 microfarad 25 volt okay as you can see and for this one we have 10 microfarad 25 volt so if you have the schematic as you can see you can find the value of any component you want so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content down now schematics and more and also you can visit my website for more articles about hardware repair troubleshooting dead motherboards no power motherboards no data motherboards tips and tricks etc Thank you very much and see you in the next video.